So this background wash has dried now and we can do some dry brush on this later. I'm going to do a little bit on the foreground area so I've taken a fine brush and I'm going to begin to bring in some darker sections. So vary your direction. Some of these may bend. Don't go over everything that you've done before. I've probably got a little bit more foreground here than I need. I can make them a little bit speckly on top if I want. I just want to get some textures coming in. This is using my burn tumber. So you begin to get a little bit of depth coming in. So you're not going out for notes, you're allowing them to create a second layer. I'm working with a fine brush, you can work slower and more carefully. So vary the direction and vary the distancing. Remember, don't have everything, don't go one, two, three, four, with them all the same. Vary them. I'm just going to get like a, a little bit of, and they can go darker, lighter, darker, lighter as well. So it's getting a second layer now onto this foreground. I'm beginning to give a little bit of detail, more feeling of depth. And we can also use the tiniest bit of our ultramarine and uh, alizarin mix up. Just give us a little bit of kick of colour. Stop that burnt umber being too um, flat. Bit up. Not too many near the body at this stage. If you feel that there's an area overall that's a little bit dark, just block a little bit of dark in. And that makes some of those lines come out of the darkness. So you can just make the top more uh, uh, like uh, textured. So here we are again. So we're getting out rid of some of that underlying tone and just making some texture. I think it just needs a tiny bit dark here. So again, we just sort of darkened at the front a little and we began to centralise now on looking at the hair. That's your next bit. 